Hey Autosys fans, Z here with Autosys. Today I'm going to be showing you how to use our data import tool. Uh, this is a great feature if you want to save some time importing um, old data that you might have from another platform um, or if you're managing it a different way. As long as you have it in Excel format, you're able to import that data. There's three areas where you can import currently. Uh, the garage section where you can import all your vehicle details, the service section, and the fuel section. Um, now, in order to access uh, the data import tool, you have to log into the web portal, which can be accessed at autosys.com forward slash portal. Of course, it synchronizes with the iOS and Android app, so all your records that you upload obviously will be visible in the app as well. But in order to import the data, you do need to log in on the web portal. So once you've logged in, uh, the first thing you want to do is go to the top right corner here where your email is listed and click there, and then go ahead and select data import tool. Now, you'll see three sections here where you'll have three different unique templates for vehicle, service, and fuel. For the purpose of this demo, I'm going to be showing you the service data import. So the first thing you want to do is go ahead and click the download template here. And what that will do is we'll download a template uh, where you can see here, and this is how you want to form format your data. The vehicle ID number is the most important because this is the unique identifier so that Autosys knows where uh, to import that data which vehicle now the vehicle ID is generated by Autosys internally so at, each time you add a vehicle that's going to be generated for you automatically and in order to get that vehicle ID number you want to go back to the portal home and then there's a vehicle ID number under the current odometer field that's listed right here so for the purpose of this demo we're going to show you unit number four and then the vehicle ID right here is 53505 so you want to copy that and when you open that template back up you want to put the vehicle ID as 53505 and then obviously you can populate your data here according to whatever you want to do. Uh, you can obviously have thousands of records but just make sure that vehicle ID is consistently the same. Now if you want to import data for multiple vehicles uh, in the same spreadsheet you absolutely can do that just make sure you change the vehicle ID number to whatever that number is on the next line for those service records. So it takes it in each by each line. Now we've already populated a, uh, a template already. So if you come here, you can see that it's 5305 and then oil change. But just for purposes of an example, I'm going to change one of these to uh, unit number 101. We have two records here right now, but let's change one to 663. So you can see that you can have multiple areas where you can put that vehicle ID. So let's go ahead and put that. So for new brakes, we're going to put it in 663. The rest, we're going to put in 53505 vehicle. All right. So once that's done, you can save that. And then you want to go back to the data import area. And then now you're ready to go ahead and select the file after you've prepped the, the template. So hit select and then service template. And then what you want to go ahead and hit is upload. And then based on how many records you're importing, it may take a few minutes uh, to do that. So just go ahead and let it uh, process. And then it'll say data imported successfully. So once that's done, you can go back and check your work to see and make sure everything was imported correctly. Now you remember for unit one, we only had one, which was new breaks. And you can see that right here, which was imported correctly. And then the rest were imported in unit number four, so if you go to unit number four, you'll see all the 10 records here that were imported from our spreadsheet. So that's basically it. Again, you can do this in the, in the uh, vehicle details on the garage section and also in the fuel. Um, and that uh, is basically how you import your data. If you have any questions or have any issues, you can always email us at support at autosys.com. If you have any feedback or any feature requests, we'd love hearing from you. Please email us at info at autosys.com. And you can obviously download the iOS app and Android app for free on the Play Store and App Store. And uh, we will definitely look forward to seeing you next video. Thanks for using Autosyst.